Steve, Monica, it's a big difference. On this day, four years ago, there were 17 declared candidates for their party's 2020 presidential nomination, 16 of them Democrats. Compare that to right now, it's less than half. Just eight candidates have announced their run to this point, six of them Republicans. And the political analyst we spoke with says there's one reason for that, Donald Trump. You have somebody who, uh, despite January 6th, despite multiple impeachments, despite uh, his indictments, despite likely pending indictments, uh, still has a really strong core of support within the Republican primary electorate. Former President Donald Trump still making headlines. And because of that, the field of candidates for 2024 staying small for now. That's according to St. Anselm political science professor Chris Galdieri. You're asking yourself, well, do I want, really want to run headlong into uh, the Donald Trump buzzsaw as a candidate? That grip on the Republican Party holding strong. Since the news of the former president's indictment, several Republican presidential candidates running against Trump have spoken out in his defense. That's been absolutely jaw dropping for me. For Democrats, experts say it's likely President Biden will seek a second term. Galdieri says the list of Democratic candidates likely to remain small. And there's really no clear alternative in the Democratic Party. There's nobody waiting in the wings who every Democrat um, would be uh, willing to support in the event that Biden stood aside. But Galdieri says Granite Staters should expect to see more of Democratic candidates Marianne Williamson and Robert Kennedy Jr. and less of President Biden if he runs. Especially if New Hampshire does not uh, schedule its primary the way the DNC would like it to. Now, several potential presidential candidates set to visit New Hampshire in the next few weeks, like South Carolina Senator Tim Scott and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. But Galdieri says it would be surprising to see more than four or five candidates enter the race for the White House in 2024. Live in the studio, Marissa Tansino, WMUR News 9.